So lately, I have found that I have spent a lot of my time watching Twitch streams. <laughs> this is not sponsored by Twitch by any means, but hey, Twitch, if you want to sponsor your girl, I'm doing my first ever uh, whole little mini series here on YouTube all about Twitch streamers, and I'm excited. I was inspired to do this uh, mini series from a couple of other artists on Twitch that I watch. They did a couple series of themselves where they took their fan art or they took just awesome artists in general and created some really cool body paints or makeup paints from them and it kind of inspired me to want to do the same thing. However, I decided to put my own little twist on it. I decided that I wanted to go into a bunch of random Twitch streams. Uh, didn't matter if I knew them, didn't matter if I knew what it is that they were doing. Just go into a bunch of random streams and ask them pretty much what it is that they wanted to see in a body paint. Pretty much give them a small rundown of what it is that I wanted to do, that I wanted to promote and help smaller streamers, even larger streamers too, just people who I would watch their streams for a little bit, notice what kind of good people they are and what kind of people, you know, they put a lot of hard work into their streams or whatever the case may be, who deserve to have a little bit more recognition than what it is that they do have. So that is really the goal for this whole little mini series is just to get smaller streamers and other streamers who might not have a whole lot of following or not a whole lot of views um get their names out there and really help them like a lot 90 percent of them were art based you know streamers that is what i mainly watch over on twitch um but some of them were sculptors painters other body paint artists or makeup artists and there was very few uh, gamers that i had asked just because that is what came up on my feed 90% of those people were really nice about it. <laughs> what I wind up doing was sending uh, something over on their chat just saying like, hey, um, pretty much giving them a small like paragraph of what it is that I wanted to do and uh, pretty much just asking them if they wanted to get involved, you know, just give me an idea that they wanted to see into the paint. And some of them were really nice about it. And then the other 10% was pretty nasty about it. Let's just say I got banned and blocked from a very few streamers, not all streamers are like this, but a few streamers who pretty much didn't like that I was promoting or spamming their chat, which was not true at all. I sent one message and wasn't even promoting myself. I was asking if I could promote them. So don't really know um, where that got lost, where I was promoting myself. But so everybody who you see in this mini series, um, they either gave me an idea in a stream or it was uh, their stream that I was in who they accepted and wanted to be a part of this. I also decided that in this mini series, um, for all of the paints that I do in the series, I'm going to be doing two different kind of makeup looks. One is a special effects body paint kind of look, and then another one is a little bit more of a traditional makeup look kind of, something that you could wear out in public if you really wanted to. So I hope you enjoy. First thing I did was collect all the ideas into this jar and randomly pick one. The first one I picked was a sea creature idea given to me by at child of I. Here's their username so you can go ahead and check them out over on Twitch. As always, first we're going to start with pulling our hair up. Make sure it's plastered and out of the way. We don't want to paint any of that hair today. Then I'm going to go ahead and dive into my face paint palette and pull out that lightest blue that I have and use a makeup sledge and just kind of pat that all over my face, leaving a little bit of room from the very top of my hairline because we're going to be filling that in with a lighter color later. Then we're 
going in with that awful green paint that you all know that I hate but it's a perfect dark blue and I'm just gonna dot that all over and take once again kind of like a makeup sponge and kind of smudge that into the skin like I did with the light color blue. In order to get pretty solid, very vibrant colors for this look, I am going to have to do this technique of kind of putting the makeup onto a sponge or, you know, blending it a couple times. I think this took me at least three or four layers of doing this kind of technique in order to get really solid colors. <laughs> And this is what the look looks like after about three or four layers of that paint texture that I was doing. Then I'm going to go ahead and use this mouse pad that I have that I use and I'm going to try and recreate those white wavy lines or I think they're mostly called light reflections or something like that. But we're going to try and go ahead and recreate that all over the blue. And here's a mini peek of what it's gonna look like coming together. <laughs> I am ungodly nervous for this. Like I spent so long on this that if I mess this up, I mess the entire thing up and I'm so nervous. Where's my other mirror? <laughs> And this clip was actually sped up, I think it's like 275 speed, and it looks like I'm going extremely slow. So just imagine how slow I was going when actually painting this head of this jellyfish.
And I totally did not forget to go ahead and click record when doing the tails of the jellyfish, but right now I'm just going in with a little bit of color. I was really debating whether or not I should do color for these because I was really loving the white and blue aesthetic that I was going for. However, over on my Instagram, I asked you guys if you wanted colorful jellies and if so, what color you would want them. And a lot of people said that they wanted oranges um, or some kind of pink and then one person said they wanted a purple one. So I just went ahead and did kind of like an ombre color and then a little purple guy, which is the little one that you guys see adding a little bit of detail, white dots, and a vibrant white line right underneath. I then went ahead and colored the rest of my shoulders and a little bit down my arm um, just in a solid black color. As I do with any normal makeup routine, I go in with a little bit of concealer and concealing powder. I'm then going to go ahead and just take a really bright pink and on my right eye, I'm just going to pack that on the very lid. I'm then going to go ahead and take the exact same pink that I used on the right eye over on the left, just doing a winged style with it, not applying it to the entire lid. I'm then taking white body paint and just doing as I did before, we're creating a head of a jelly right over my right eye where I've made it all pink. In order to create the tail for the jellyfish, I'm then just going to go ahead underneath my waterline and drag that same white paint from my waterline down to my cheek. I did this in three sections, starting with the very middle, and then one on the left side and one on the right side. Going back in with the same pink that I used before over the head of the jellyfish on the white just to give it like a glow effect. I'm then going in with a peach color for the left eye and just blending it from the inner corner of my eye out to where the pink is. I then took a glittery white 
and did it right on the inner corners and blending that out into the peach as well. Lastly, just some eyeliner to finish off the look. If you guys are enjoying this mini series here on the channel, go ahead and leave a like. Also leave a comment on which look you like the most. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.